Hello, this is the Chart Profit webcast. Data on the screen here through Thursday. This is the auction chart for the E-mini S&P. Just quickly reviewing, we had uh, a probe here uh, above the four-month value area higher. That's the value area high of the higher trading range that we've been in since February. Subsequent to that, we had the um, point of control, which at that point, 10-month point of control, had migrated higher to this level, 21.07, and we had some aggressive selling below it here, and then we had the uh, resistance here. We reviewed this last week, just going through it again. 10-month actually migrated lower at this point here to 20.95, and then start of this week, we've had uh, aggressive selling below that level on the really weak uh, Monday and the four uh, value areas generated this week have all, all been below that level. The only support that I could find down here uh, is 2045, which was a previous point of control. But as I wrote pre-open on Tuesday, as a previous point of control, we can't be sure how valid it is. I wanted to say, in any case, I need to see significant buying marked above 2095 which is now the 20, uh, the 10 month point of control before considering new longs. And that level is here. So unless the point of control migrates lower, which it could possibly do, or unless uh, we see a further sell off down to some kind of support that I can identify to be safe, especially as we've seen no significant buying for a while since over here, um, I would want to see significant buying above that level before considering new longs. The breadth charts, as I've been saying for a while, have uh, deteriorated. The bottom two indicators here on the New York um, breadth chart are below their levels, uh, which is zero in this case for the net new highs 25 five day moving average. And the percentage stocks creating their 50 day moving average has fallen down into the 30s here. So these two indicators are not supportive in my view. And uh, here's the NASDAQ, very similar looking picture here at the moment. Gives us a pulse chart. Um, or rather the breadth part of the pulse chart has been negative or neutral since uh, up here and um, the price oscillator at the bottom here, the momentum is negative as we know so price momentum, breadth, uh, price location we're looking here at the uh, spider 209.92 we've seen that aggressive selling as I mentioned below the point of control so this is not painting uh, a good picture at all. In fact, it's very difficult to find anything positive to say, obviously pending uh, this weekend and what develops. May well see further volatility uh, early next week. But currently this kind of short term pulse uh, analysis not particularly encouraging. And to look quickly at the sentiment indicators, the public here, this is the Rydex, uh, my version of the Rydex assets ratio. Um, as we know, it peaked back here in February, kind of up here. Um, the ratio has come lower. We hit a seven or eight month low on the indicator here. Still, as I've mentioned, relatively high. But um, I've drawn this line in here because I mentioned this in the late part of June as the market sold off, this Rydex ratio came higher. And as I said at the time, it's not particularly what you want to see if you're bullish um, because it indicates the retail Rydex traders are kind of trying to buy the dip a little bit. So you'd rather uh, see the Rydex uh, indicator kind of heading lower, increasing bearishness if you're looking for a low. Okay, this is the public poll from AAII. Um, the bulls percentage was sharply lower this week at 22.6% from 35.6%. And that's close to 20%, which was reached uh, three weeks ago, and that was a two-year low. So there's been an obvious increase, and not surprisingly, increase in bearishness in this poll this week. Uh, bears percent was sharply higher at 351 and that's the highest since August last year. And the four-week moving average of net bulls minus bears at minus 5.03, that's the yellow line here. And that's a two year low, so we have to go back over here uh, to find the indicator of that low. So, um, as I mentioned, not uh, surprisingly, and especially ahead of the long weekend, some fear coming in here. And also in the exposure index, which is the 
measure of current equity exposure of active money managers. Uh, that was also that was lower at 54.84. That's the lowest reading since October back over here. So these indicators, um, these sentiment indicators, indicating more bearishness uh, than we've seen for quite a while. Not historically low, just low relatively for the last few months. This is a, a news-led um, market currently. If we see some kind of resolution pretty quickly on the Greece situation, it may calm some nerves. And then this fuel, which we're seeing here, I think would be more relevant and valid to look at. I okay, just want to spend the rest of the time here looking at quite a few charts. This is the spider. Weak price location following that week Monday here. Uh, 209.92, as we know, is the 12-month point of control. And this is all weak location down here. The last three days, as you can see, uh, printed within the range of Monday's steep down bar. We are following the Russell 2000 ETF IWM as a key chart. The key level being 124.50, which is the seven-month point of control, hoping for support here. It was kind of encouraged uh, the um, sell-off early in the week on Monday. Kind of uh, just tested it, but we had most of uh, Tuesday and Wednesday printing above that level. But we finished, again, not surprisingly, with the event on the weekend and the possibility of who knows what on Monday morning. Um, probably some profit taking or whatever, but we see the close here in a weak price location for this chart as well. Diamonds um, below its uh, 12 month at 180, weak price location. Qs have an 18 month at 108.60 here, weak price location. Uh, Europe has closed on the Friday here. Just wanted to review these charts that we looked at last week. This is the Euro Next 100, 984.50 is the level up here and the halfway point just underneath it. And this week we're lower and a relatively weak close here. Euro stock 600, again, weak price location at the end of the week. The DAX as well, below 11,440, 12 month point of control up here. Uh, you saw the decline, then we had the rally back to the exact halfway point. That's uh, a, it's kind of weak price action, um, and this is weak price location as well. Now the FTSE 100, the UK FTSE 100, the same thing from this high to this low, we rallied back to the exact halfway point here. As I mentioned, that's, that's kind of weak price pattern. Um, you often see that in a really weak market. That's the first thing to watch, a decent rally off the first low after a decline, finds the halfway point, and that's the first level of obvious resistance. And it failed there, down to a new low, which was in the region of 65.60. So this is an important chart to watch because that's quite an important level on the FTSE. And uh, we're currently finishing the week above it, price down here, very weak price location. We'll monitor this chart. Okay, let's see if we can find any strength in the bond charts and the commodities. This is TLT, the T-Bond ETF. Uh, closed Thursday here below this really important level at 117.14. That's the major point of control. We had a little rally back uh, to the three month here and found resistance. So again, bonds, weak chart. And IEF, the seven to 10 year ETF, uh, the major at 105, major point of control here. And you can see we just printed too much time down here to consider the long side. Okay, what about gold? What about commodities? Um, okay, look at the chart. We've got the 24 month uh, here at 115.12. And we had resistance here, I mentioned this last week. And we are down here currently. So this is an extremely weak looking chart. Again, you can see the uh, from this low, this was a really important low to this high and the halfway point in here. And as we know, there's the um, resistance and then the decline back below the, tw the 24 month here, all of this weak price location. Silver ETF, SLV, if anything looks weaker, the 18 month here was resistance and uh, we had a probe above it here, um, but we are printing back close to these lows. So, Really weak looking charts, these two. I'm afraid the oil ETF, USO, uh, we've been following this level here at 2024, 16 month point of control. It migrated higher recently with this price action. 
um, and we're now closing said last week that we were kind of back in a weak price location here and we're on a new low here so again pretty weak looking chart um, this pattern here for chartists doesn't look so good either is there anything that looks uh, strong this is the dollar index there's the 12 month point of control at 94.67 we've had this little kind of higher low above it and this is stronger price location we have the halfway point off the March high to this low comes in here if the dollar index could give us this that would be really strong currently the British pound still struggling with its 12 month point of control which comes in here we've had no time printed above that level so this is still a uh, weak price location sorry I think I said British pound I beg your pardon this is the euro euro FX chart this is the British pound uh, 156.70 is the 12 month and we're finishing the week below that level uh, had a bit of a struggle with the big major half range resistance here just had a probe above it and uh, this is a really long term level uh, so we found resistance there thought we might find um, some support and a rally from here but we fell below it so we've talked about this massive kind of um, region of overhead resistance and at the moment we're underneath all of it so again uh, weak for the pound looks like here strong for the dollar and I'm going to finish with the Australian dollar we've been talking about this level I made a big deal of it last week uh, this is a really long term really long term level uh, spot 76 and we've had resistance all the way through um, and I did mention that price breaking below here after attempted support on a number of occasions um, we're now printing finishing the end of the week here so there's a lot of fear in a lot of these charts uh, looks like the dollar is the place to go for a bit of a haven but this is if we see price staying below this level this is a really interesting chart okay that concludes uh, once again I thank you for watching and I wish you a good weekend